Why shouldn't Wales have its own Poets' Corner in St. David's Cathedral? And if they were going to do that, why wouldn't they invite the Prince of Wales to come, uh, Prince Charles? Why wouldn't they invite him to come and be part of the, the uh, celebration to open this, this Poets' Corner? Which then gives us, or not gives us, but gives the Druids a nice, juicy target. Uh, to attack, so so that's why I, I brought St. David's into the into the uh, the situation. At the same time as, as as that was going on, I wanted the Druids because they still had a very active wing in in uh, North America. And what better target uh, than than the Statue of Liberty? For all of it represents for, for Americans, kind of the iconic uh, location. So. Uh, that's why I chose those two places uh, to be the targets of, of Druid attacks, which hopefully our, our hero will protect, <laughs> let's put it that way. Lundy Island was a little different. Lundy Island is a, it's a very small island off the coast of Devon in the Bristol Channel in North Devon. And it, uh, there's nothing there. There's some old ruins and a couple of, of uh, places that they, they, they rent out for people to, to just go and spend a couple of days. And it's, it's a nature preserve type of place. It's very flat. It, 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 it's like a, an upturned bowl sitting in, in the uh, in, in a channel. Very high cliffs and then flat right across the top. So you got this flat area and then just straight cliffs right into the water. And interestingly, in the Maddock legend, when Maddock got leave to, to take his ships and go over, they assembled on Lundy Island. All the ships that were going to go with him and all the people that were going to, they all gathered in Lundy Island. And they gathered in Lundy Island because it was outside the realm of the King of England. Because it was owned by a pirate uh, by the name of um, Marischal. And he and his family kind of owned the island and they, they did their pirate raids from there and raided all over the place. But interestingly enough, it was also where the Knights Templar had some under the table dealings with with uh, with with uh, the, the 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 pirate family that ran the island. I thought, well, since he went there, why wouldn't he also have dealings with the Templars? Let's bring the Templars in, you know. And, and so that's that's why Lundy is in there. But it is it is factual that 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 Lundy Island was where he sailed from. So so it's at the south end of Wales just off the Welsh coast, between Wales and England, south of Ireland, and then off he goes to, uh, to North America. What in the world is Worm's Head? Uh, <laughs> Worm's Head is one of the most unique. Um, it, 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 it's a natural formation in the Gower Peninsula of South Wales. Uh, and it's a very um, strange looking extension of land. It's, it's, it's an island that is just off the mainland and there's a causeway uh, that is, is, you know, when high tides come in it, it cuts off the causeway and it's an island and then when the low tides on it's, it's connected to the, to the uh, thing. But it looks like a dragon coming out of the water. And uh, in fact, there's a couple of blowholes in, in, in the worm's head. And when the waves come crashing in, it kept crashing in at this level, and then the water is literally forced up the inside, and then it pours out. And it looks like a, a, a dragon breathing steam and fire. And worm, uh, which was spelled W-E-R-M in, uh, in the old English and, and Welsh, uh, it, it's it's a it's a word that a Welsh word for serpent, and so it was like a serpent's head coming out of the water and breathing all the. 
Well, if you've got a place like that that's real that you can go to, you you gotta you gotta use it in a book, especially my book. You know, so so uh, uh, it, it, one of the climactic scenes of of, of the. Uh, of the interplay between the druids uh, takes place at Worm's Head. And it's a very, the cliffs are very, very high. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a very evocative place. Great for, for fiction.